You've called for the chieftain to meet us, then. Aye. I still feel this is an awful idea, though. They've shown themselves to be completely uncaring about our rules and regulations. We killed one of his, Yvonne. He mocked me to try and test if I was worthy of redeeming that death, and I failed. The mark has gone back to the advisor, and we have no recourse but to face their leader head on and ask how to mend this. I suspect that will end with someone's death, Alistair. If it's my head he wants, so be it. Sins of the father and whatnot. We're not going to let him murder you. No more harm is going to be done while you two are under my care. Do you understand me? Th thank you for your embrace, my pearl. Do not fret, all right? You will both be safe, I promise. No more pain. Yvonne, pain is inevitable. All we can do is prepare for it and enjoy what peace we get. Do not lecture me. This can be resolved without violence. I know it can. I will find a way. Hmm. The advisor is right. You are not alone. <laughs> uh, I think I liked you when you were an asshole more, Alistair. It was a lot easier to entertain the notion of punching you in the face. Well, if I do get dragged off to pay for my father's crimes, I'll be sure to call you a raging asshole. Or call you out for those wines you make when you can't reach something on a high shelf first. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need a bit of time to yourself, love. Of course. Of course. Quite right. I prepared a study for you at the end of the hall and had it stocked with some spell books, journals, and other things I thought might interest you. Uh, but I do believe there are Ichor samples in there from what Alistair vomited up in the dungeon. I told you that I'd help clean that if you gave me a damned mop. Alistair, with due respect, you got bitch skipped so hard I'd worry about you successfully eating soup at present. Lest we forget the clam chowder incident. I wasn't expecting the clams here to be the size of a child's fist. No, no, I do believe I told you beforehand it was going to be a mess, but no, it never was one time. Advisor? Your Highness, to be calm, is Juno Yvonne's advisor? A fine evening to you as well. I see you've decided to sequester yourself in the study our prince provided for you. No, Prince Yvonne and King Elster do not require you at this moment. They are still planning, I suppose is the word. But I have been observing you since you came here months ago. It is my job to be observant, same as yours. And I've noticed very quickly that you require perspective. You have been a victim all your life, advisor. Not by choice, of course. But you have been wronged many times by those that were meant to have your best interest at heart. Any time you try to fight back, you are put down. Any time you try to struggle against your lot in life, you are kept anchored by his need for you. You are a true friend, advisor, and damn good at what you do. But you've neglected the ferocious aspect of you your entire life. 
as you didn't even know you had one. It is okay to be a warrior advisor. It is something that you appreciate from Alistair, yes? His ability to fight and rage against any fool that might threaten you. He cannot do that anymore, advisor. He cannot charge in ready to die to save your honor. And Yvonne is no warrior. Alistair has called Verotion here for talk, not battle. And you and I both know it will end in disaster. You must stand and embrace your heritage. How? Think of how you have been formed, advisor. Of the influence upon you currently. You've already solved your own problem, just not for yourself. Think. Alistair's best versus Yvonne's best combined with you. Yes, you're getting it, aren't you? Looking at the icker Alistair vomit up and the spell books Yvonne lent you has given you some ideas, hmm? Good. Now, let us prepare for disaster together, hmm? Of course I will help you, child. We advisors must stick together, hmm? Now, first and foremost, I have an old friend that would like you to meet waiting in the gardens. He is a bit on the hairy side, mind, and he needs a good paw, or six. Regardless, what would a rear ocean be without their mount? Hmm? <laughs>